What is up YouTube and a welcome to this DCEU slash Justice League video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is appreciated. If you if the first time you are coming across my channel is in this video, well I cover everything from DC Comics, Marvel Comics, right through to Cult TV. So please don't be shy, hit that subscribe, smash that notification button, never miss a video, and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video on your way out. So Justice League has continuing to have a bad press. It has been unrelenting. Obviously, now the biggest part of the hatred towards Justice League is from its own fans, and this is in the in the response to the fact that there is possibly a three hour cut of the Zack Snyder version of Justice League out there. And well, a it's just a real shame that we never got to see the creator finish his vision and the two hour runtime has completely ruined the movie. But you know what? I did enjoy the movie for what it was. And I can't really give the whole blame to Joss Whedon, in my opinion, because he was tasked with his mammoth task of finishing the job, and Warner Brothers are known for completely and utterly butchering their films. Look at Batman vs. Superman. Well, they cut out quite a lot of footage, which actually gave context towards it. They completely messed with Suicide Squad, uh, ending up with merging two cuts, two edits of the film. And here we have Justice League, which has suffered the same blow. But hopefully we get this Zack Snyder cut of the film. I believe the Change.org petition, as always, there's always a Change.org petition, isn't there? There's a change not put all petition for anything, but it should be at the kind of the limit now, I think. Hopefully Warner Brothers are paying attention and seeing dollar signs in their eyes at the the prospect of a ultimate edition cut, which I'm gonna hold out for. I'm not gonna buy the normal Blu-ray version, to be honest. I'm actually gonna buy the ultimate edition. And now I believe Batman vs Superman only had an ultimate edition. But the main part of this video is two theories I want to present to you, which I thought they're two things which I found really, really weird. Now, first of all, at the start of the movie, we had the Man of Steel himself. We saw news footage of Henry Cavill's Superman saving people throughout the world and really emphasizing on the fact that hope has left the world, which was a real shame. Now, I find that arc a bit odd, considering that Hope was gone before Batman vs. Superman, and that was supposed to bring Hope into the world, but Batman, or sorry, Superman's dead, and now the Hope is completely gone. Yeah, a bit, a bit kind of a bit iffy there, in my opinion. But there was one shot which was really, really weird. This was a shot of Superman actually saving people from a burning building and we had him being interviewed by a bunch of kids and this was some footage where he was actually being interviewed by kids and we never actually saw the kids interviewing him and he seemed to absolutely relish in this in the fact that he was being interviewed by adoring kids who looked up to him which is no doubt they these kids would look up to these superheroes if they were real and in this world and what I, what I and a few other people think is the fact that this could be the emergence of Billy Batson in the movie. Now, Billy Batson is obviously going to be Shazam, and Shazam is the next film to be filmed, and that is going to come out after Aquaman. And it, it's, I believe it'll be 2019 when Shazam is actually going to come out. So these kids could actually be either Billy Batson or the kids from the orphanage in this because in Shazam we actually have Billy Batson taken from an orphanage and then he's taken to some sort of foster home where he meets his fellow friends and then well we then have the New 52 origin of him and he forms the Marvel family which is really really cool and we see Mary Marvel and things like that and I think that'd be really really neat if they did this and this could be the character actually inspired by Superman and well have him as a huge fan of Superman but later on have to actually and maybe end up fighting Superman just like the comics and I think that'd be really really cool this could be possibly where he starts to or shortly after this he actually gets taken to the Rock of Eternity and given his powers and then he'll look upon what he's seen with Superman and use his powers for good unlike Black Adam 
So, yeah, a bit of a wild theory there, in my opinion, but let me know what you think in the comments about that theory. Now, next up, we actually have something else from this, and this was another thing which was really weird. So, Wonder Woman was actually in London, and then, which I find weird, because why wasn't she at the Louvre? Because that's where she works, but this was in London this time. I'm sure there's a deleted scene where this makes a lot more sense, and she actually goes to stop a bunch of reactionary terrorists. Now, on the first it, first run of this, I did think that it's something to do with Steppenwolf and Darkseid. Maybe these are actually been maybe influenced by the anti-life equation or something like that. Uh, but I can't see that coming in until maybe Justice League 3 or something like that, if there is a Justice League 3. But what... Who else could this be? So there are a bunch of reactionary terrorists who want to blow up and cause a dark age and cause a kind of save everyone by creating a dark age yeah i always find that trope in superhero comics and kind of sci-fi really really stupid but there is something else that they could actually be now they could be part of the league of assassins now they were wearing suits they all were wearing pretty much the same outfits and i kind of found it weird they were all wearing suits when they were literally going to just die anyway but what they could actually be part of is the League of Assassins. Now, the League of Assassins is, if you didn't know, I don't know why you wouldn't know, but it's led by Raish al Ghul, who wants to kind of... He's an, sort of an eco-terrorist person, wants to save the world by restarting it. And obviously, if you've seen Batman Begins, there is an instance of that in the movie, and really his divine rule or the kind of his his code that he lives by is kind of absolute so they could actually be wanting to start this they could see that the world has now completely gone after superman died and that they want this they see this as their chance to actually execute the will of rachel ghoul and well obviously We've had Batman doing Batman for 20 years, so he may have actually come into contact with Rachel Ghoul in the past, and maybe this was something, or the setup for something maybe in Batman. I find it weird that we never actually learned more about these characters, and maybe Warner Brothers wanted to save this for something else, or felt it wasn't really necessary to introduce them in this organisation. But that is it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.